If I choose one word to describe Echo Voyager, awesome. It is a complete game-changing approach to how autonomous underwater systems will be used in the future. Boeing has been involved in undersea systems, advanced undersea systems, for about 50 years now. Echo Ranger is our 18-foot test bed, and Echo Seeker is our 32-foot test bed. And I consider them both test beds because they only operate on their own for about two to three days at a time. They require the surface ship for the launch and recovery. The reason why we had the family was to get the stepping stones necessary so that we had the confidence and the, the history and the skill set to do the system. What we came up with with Echo Voyager is a way to do those same missions without the requirement of a surface ship for the launch and recovery. Any of those missions can now be conducted significantly lower cost with the advent of Echo Voyager. That's a capability that does not exist today. And so instead of looking at solving today's problems, what Boeing decided to do was come up with this game-changing paradigm capability shift that allows our customers to continually do today's missions and future missions in a far more cost-effective manner. Think of the Gulf oil spill. If we had the baseline water chemistry of the Gulf before that tragic event, we would have been able to take that baseline information and then go back out and do subsequent uh, surveys and determine how fast or how slow the Gulf is recovering. It can do a lot of that processing while it's out at sea and then surface and provide the information back to its users really almost in a near real-time environment. Versus today, you go out there with a surface ship, you lower uh, probes, you collect information, or you tow a remote operated vehicle, and you have that large time constant in between going out there to get the data. Echo Voyager was not designed for one customer in mind. Think about how the 737 is a commercial airline, but it's also got a derivative for the PA program. This is the same thing. It is a, it's a baseline vehicle that has the ability to carry a wide variety of uh, payloads for a multiple set of customers. The United States defense budget is not going up. NOAA's budget's not going up. Our international customers' budgets are not going up. But the requirements are. So they have to have a different way to do today's missions in a significantly more cost-effective manner. Echo Voyager is that solution.